Hello friends, in this video, I am going to show you a shortcut to find the weekday of given date for the range 1900 to 2000. So, now let's find the weekday of the date 15th August 1943. Okay, so this shortcut is going to be contain some steps. The first step is take the year. Okay, take the year's last two digits. Take the year's last two digits. So in our case, that is 47. And next, take the number of leap years from 1900 to given year, that is 1947. So number of leap years from 1900 to 1947 is 11 leap years. Then take the month key value. Month key value. So in this shortcut, each month is going to be contain some key value. Those key values are like this: Jan, February. March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December. So the month key value for Jan is 1, 4, 4, 0, 2, 5, and then 0, 3, 6, 1, 4, 6. Okay, so these are the month key values and you have to remember them. Okay, so how you can remember? So first three are 12 square, that is 140. So second three are 5 square. Okay, and next three are 6 square. So next one is 12 square plus 2. Okay, so like this you can remember the month key value. So now take the month key value. So the given month is August. The given month is August. So August month key value is what? 3. So that is 3. Next, take the given day, given day date. That is 15. Okay. So 15. Now we have to add all of them. What, what we have to add? 47, 11, 3 and 15. 8, 9, 16. Okay. And 4, 5, 6, 7. So 76. Okay. So to find the number of odd days, we have to divide this number by 7 and we have to take the remainder. So that we get 6. So in this shortcut, 0 means Saturday, 1 means Sunday, 2 means Monday, 3 means Tuesday, 4 means Wednesday, 5 means Thursday, 6 means Friday. So we got 6. That's why actually the weekday on 15th August 1947 is Friday. Okay, so this shortcut includes four steps. First one is taking the year. Second one is taking the number of leap years from 1900 to given year. Third one is taking the month key value, and the month key values are like this. And fourth, taking the date, given date. Here 50, adding all of them, 
and dividing by 7 and taking the remainder okay so based on that remainder value we decide the day so 0 means saturday 1 means sunday 2 means monday 3 means tuesday 4 means wednesday 5 means thursday 6 means friday we got 6 so 15 August 1947 is a friday and this tool is going to be worked between 1900 to 2000 